In this video, we'll talk about S. Bianca Veritas with a general overview on her playstyle and gear. Veritas will be available in the event and special event tabs during Eternal Engine. Once again, make sure to check that you're rolling in the right banner. Now let's begin with these topics. Veritas is the mainstay s rank attacker for the Lightning team, so I highly recommend getting her while she's at 100% rate up. Now let's look at her skills, starting with the orbs. They're all relatively straightforward which makes Veritas easy to play. Red Orb is a single charge shot fired straight ahead and the 3 ping of it fulfills the first half of her core passive. Yellow Orb places a damage over time AoE that also slows enemies in it. Veritas will leap in the direction of your movement stick as she does this but bear in mind that this does not count as an evasion and only serves to reposition herself. Blue Orb grants additional strikes to her basic attack and core passive similar to Alpha's Blue Orb. Veritas performs a distinct satisfying snap and this will fulfill the second half of her core passive. Basic attacks and QTE are pretty straightforward and are similar to her A counterpart. Her signature move unleashes an AoE followed by a delayed explosion. As for a core passive, it's really simple to trigger, similar to Astral Watanabe. She will only need 3 red and a minimum of 1 blue orb to enter her sniping mode. When her core passive is ready, the bar only begins to drain once you perform the first basic attack. You get 6 seconds to do 6 shots and the core passive will end when either of the conditions are met. You can also dodge during a core passive and by doing so, the next shot will be quicker. And as mentioned before, since her switch in attack is a triple red ping, she only needs a blue ping after that to go straight into her core passive. As for her rank passive, Veritas works fine at S rank. Go for high ranks if you want to stay competitive. Her playstyle slightly changes on SSS rank, where you'll need to consider using Yellow Orb as well since it gives additional damage bonus. And that concludes the general rundown of her skills. Now let's move on to her gear. Unfortunately for Veritas, the 4 and 5 star bows are physical oriented, and as you know, elemental attacks do not crit at all, so her signature weapon is optimal. Don't worry if you can't afford it, you can continue using the other bows for their stats, and resonance also helps. As for the memory set, Veritas has only two variants, 4 Heisen and 2 Frederick or 2 Condolina. Frederick buffs all damage, but you will be required to perform a total of 3 dodges to benefit from the boost, so you can do this before and during her core passive. Condolina only buffs basic attack which also applies to her core passive shots, so this is only good if you don't want to bother with Frederick's activation conditions. Just bear in mind that the overall output gets increasingly lower compared to Frederick as Bianca's rank increases. As for the resonance, you can go slot 231 in that order for her weapon. For the memory, attack plus 15 for the top slot. Any attack plus 15 resonance will do because elementals do not need the crit stat. For the bottom slot, you will want core passive levels. For the recommended team setup, the Lightning Tank only comes in a patch after Eternal Engine, so this is just a placeholder team until then. Feel free to come up with your own if you find something more effective as this is just a guideline. For Warzone, you can go A Karen, Any Tank, and Veritas. For Pain Cage, A Liv, Any Tank with Veritas. And in the near future, the Lightning Team will be complete. 